cancer. If you call Sarah Sider for help fighting heroin, she'll be able to relate. She's been there. When Bobby Turner knocks on your door talking treatment, you should listen. He's walked in your shoes. They are on the front line of the local opioid crisis. Both are in recovery here at Addiction Services. They are at your service. It can be a scary situation, and that window is real small um, when they decide that, you know, they want help, and it can vanish really quick. No judgment. And I've had uh, several people that's called back a few times like, hey, man, I messed up. Will you help me again? And we're always there for them. Turner is hands-on. He'll be part of Hamilton County's expanded quick response team. Commissioners heard today about how a specialized unit funded by a federal grant will focus countywide on those who OD and those who might be susceptible. No, I've literally had people cry, thank you. And then you do, you get the door slammed in your face. So all you're doing is asking them, what can we do to help you? Sider says about half of the 17,000 calls that are made annually to addiction services are about heroin. Turner's been a part of Coleraine Township's QRT. He regularly distributes his contact information at shelters, rec centers, libraries. He was in at least five treatment centers before he got clean. Cider was hooked on heroin for eight years. They don't know where to start. A lot of people just don't know where to start. It's like overwhelming. She describes her life now as sober and blessed. He too feels fortunate about reclaiming a productive lifestyle free from the harmful hold of heroin. He will have a list of folks who've been revived by Narcan. I'll be knocking on the doors. I'll be one of the first faces they see, and uh, we just let them know that we're there to help. And many heroin users, of course, move around quite a bit. So starting on April 3rd, the QRT will rely on the Fusion Center and on the courts to locate heroin addicts and steer them to treatment programs. Reporting live, John London, WWT News 5.